Hi there everyone and welcome to Shabby Sunday and this is uh, week six and last week I showed you how to make um, a little tag book and I promised that this week I would um, show you all the, the book binding technique and the different little book that I made at the book binding class that I attended a couple of weeks ago. So this is the other little book that I made during class. Um, and you can get this book out of one sheet of cardstock. Now you can either use watercolour paper, um, any off cuts, use up your scraps by all means. Um, and it's just a fun little book. You can stamp on it, you can put paper on it, you can paint it, um, you can cover it in gesso, do mixed media, brag book, you name it. It lends itself to quite a lot of different um, mediums. Now. The basis of the book is one sheet of cardstock and it is, um, I'm just going to leave it at eight and a quarter, which is the, the, the length of this cardstock here. Um, and it is by four inches, I think, or just over four inches. Um, yeah, four and a half. But I'm going to make mine in fact, this is like four and uh, one, two, but seven eighths or something like that. So I'm going to alter the size of this very, very slightly. So you've got your first page and it just opens up like a book, but your next page opens up and then opens up again. And then your next page is just plain, but this side opens up. And then when you fold it over again, you've just got a plain double side and then you fold it over again and you have another flap here. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, and then what I'll do is, like I did last week, was I'll make the book and then I'll decorate it and finish it off on my blog and you can see what I did with it once I was done and dusted. So you take your sheet of um, A4 cardstock um, and we're going to be cutting this at three and three quarters. I should get three bits out of it. So three and three quarters by eight and a, whatever it is, the, just the width of the, the, um, the sheet of cardstock. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be scoring it at three inches and six inches, maybe three, yeah, three and six. Okay, and do that to all three pieces. Scoring at three, scoring at six. And then your next bit, again, three and I thought that one went a wee bit squint there. Right, there we go. So that's our scoring done. So what we want to do is fold along the score lines and just give it a good little crease with your bone folder. Last two. There we go. So what you want to do is, to marry these up, you want to, so this is going to be your front cover, this one. So you open it up. So the next one that you put in, you want to have a small bit there. Am I doing this right? Yeah. And then the next bit you put the other way. Have I done this right? Do you know when you look at something and you're like, is that right? Refer back to the manual. <laughs> so the first sheet 
goes on with a little bit that way. So that's fine. The next sheet goes with that bit there. That's right. And then that bit comes in. That's what I'd lost. I'd lost my middle bit. And then that bit comes in there. That's it. We've got it this time. Okay, so we marry these up so that they're all kind of, you get your crease in the middle. And then you get your pokey tool or your brand new awl. I've invested in an awl this week and it arrived. Oh, what day did it arrive? Thursday, I think. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to poke three holes in this book. And then just make sure that you can go back through the other way. And I also bought linen thread as well. This isn't the waxed stuff. Um, I meant to get the waxed thread, but I ordered the wrong kind. <laughs> so I just need to... And it's a lot thinner than I expected as well. So... Let's just give it a nice little end. And get rid of this. So what I'm going to do is, before I start... making a muck of this, I'm going to just make sure it's straight and put my fold back clips on it just to keep everything together. Put that one there and that one there. There we go. So put fold back clips on and then we'll get, what you need is, like last week, you need three times the amount of thread as in the width of the book. So that's one, two, three. And I'll just chop that off. And then we need our book binding needle. I think these are size 18s, these needles. But really any needle will do. As long as it's sturdy. Um, and it fits through the holes. There we go. So what we want to do is we want to go down through the middle hole and leave a tail because you're going to need that to tie and then you're going to come up through the right hand side back down through the middle up through the left hand hole did I do that right? I'm going to put that back down through there just now and I'm going to put that through the back of there just to give it an extra wee bit and then you go back up through that one and then through this bit here and down through the middle okay so it gives it quite nice and neat and then come back up through the bottom but a different side of the thread I'm not a very good teacher at this <laughs> and then you can just tie it off but it's it's uh, it's just a case of getting the stitching done and then tying it tight and then I'll give it another tie there we go so that's the basis of the book for this week. And then we can just so that's it bound on the outside and that's it on the inside. So that will then form your book. So you will just form that, fold that little bit in, fold that piece in, fold it over, and there we go. So that's our little book made. Um, so you've got your front flap, then we've got the next flap with an extra bit, then we've got the next bit and that bit folds out that way, then that's just a plain piece and then that one folds out that way. So that was a little book that I learned. Um, 
at the bookbinding workshop that was taken by Yvonne um, at the Stampers Grove a couple of weeks ago. Um, so you can see the difference in the sizes. I made mine small and dumpy, whereas this one's tall and skinny. Um, and you can, this one's made with watercolour paper, so you could get your dilution spray on it, or your Lindy spray, or your Distress Inks. You know, it's just, I'm going to have a little play with this one today, and, uh, and I'll show you my finished product over my blog. So, I'll see you all later, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.